Okay, so here is my follow-up from my last video. I apologize, I'm doing this on a phone. I don't have actual recording uh, cameras and, and equipment that like other YouTubers would have. Not that I consider myself a YouTuber. Um, I'm just doing the uh, the follow-up here from my last video because I had more information to give. And the last video was only about six minutes long. So in my last video I mentioned that I couldn't find the protective film to remove from the bottom that um, was suggested on the box. Turns out that the film was on these feet. It was like a blue colored film that I hadn't noticed. I just thought that they were supposed to be blue. And I also thought that the protective film went over this portion of the mouse. But it actually is on the feet here. And speaking of the feet, in the box they provide uh, replacement feet if these get stretched up too badly or maybe one falls out somehow. I'm not sure how that would happen. I mean they're pretty inset pretty well. And I don't really think they're just going to fall right out. But they do provide replacement feet, which is, is quite nice. Um, they're in the box along with a CD driver, which you don't need the CD driver because you can just get the software from uh, the website. Now, that being said, I'd like to discuss the software here. See if I can get this to focus. Because I'm using a phone, like I said, and I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. But the last time I had talked about this... I was mentioning how this correlation program was designed to pull up profiles, profile name and the path to executable. So I assumed that when I had done this, what it would do was give me the option to find a game and create a profile. However, all it seemed to do when I created a profile was change the name from, let's see if it'll come in. Come on, focus for me. I'm going to try real quick, see if I can get, get this to, there, there it is. Default 2. You see how this is Default 2? If you're on Profile 1, it will say Default 1. When I created a correlation program attempting to create a profile for a game, all that seemed to happen was it changed that name from Default 2 to the name of the software. I have yet to be able to figure out exactly how to get profile set up. All I have here is profile 1 and profile 2, which you can adjust some. You do have the ability to change the WSAD for the thumbstick, but I have yet to figure out much more than that as far as setting up specific game profiles. I've only been able to do two profiles, profile 1, which is default, and then profile 2, which I have changed slightly uh, to a static red color. And I mentioned in the first video that I would like to see multiple options for the software as opposed to um, just being stuck with what's available. Like, for example, we have a solid red here. Um, I wouldn't mind having that solid uh, static red be able to float or breathe and things like that. And the reason why I have it set to solid red is because I actually have a red and blue theme on my computer. And there's more inside, dude. We don't get to that right now. So basically, I'm having trouble figuring out exactly how to create the profiles to have more than one profile and to have multiple games, uh, multiple game profiles. It seems like you can only have profile one and profile two. So I'd really like to see the ability to, to actually create multiple, multiple profiles. What I feel this should be is two versions of profiles, like a hardware profile and a software profile. And what I mean by that is, let's say the profile one and profile two, which seems to be permanent here, should be for the mouse and the hardware, for like your lighting. You know, let's say you want two different varieties of sets of lighting. You could do profile one for one kind of lighting and profile two for the other. But as far as game, games, I've yet to be able to figure out exactly how we get this correlation program to load up a profile to a game. The armory, this part here is for creating like macros. I've just kind of messed around with it slightly to see what's up, but I don't really know how it works altogether quite yet. I haven't had quite enough time to mess around with this mouse. Um, I did fail to mention in the last video that they have a braided cable. 
and it comes with a nice Velcro strap. I mean, the, the, the hardware itself is quite nice. I did have a couple of um, suggestions, as for example, like extra, extra keys right here. But, you know, it seems like the way this is working right now is it's basically back, forward, you know, right click, left click, middle click, and then you WSAD here. So aside of the WSAD, you've got your basic mouse functions, which might be mappable within game. But I can't change like the WSAD to let's say be an analog stick to change the um, change of view. Let's see, because right now how I would be operating it is pressing forward would be WSAD forward W. Uh, you know, so on, up, down, left, and right, and I would be moving the mouse to change my view point of view. It would be kind of nice to be able to change my point of view from here sometimes, depending on the game, because there are some games that work really, really well with this mouse, and other games, not so much. Uh, Control, a, a new game called Control, it doesn't really like um, this con this configuration and I would actually have to set up a profile for that game to disable this part, this portion of the mouse. And what I mean by it doesn't really like it is I typically game using a controller. I've got two different versions here, the Logitech and the Xbox. And how I do it because I'm disabled and my left hand doesn't work very well is because I can't do WSAD on the keyboard. I tend to move the con characters around using this portion of the mouse here, one of these two. And then maybe some other functions here. Uh, with the right hand, but primarily I might be moving my character around from here and then doing other things from here. That's not possible with control. It, 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 the game just doesn't like it. Um, other, however, there are other games that this works really well with. Uh, we're almost going on seven minutes here. I don't really have that much more time because I'd like to kind of keep this under ten minutes if at all possible. Uh, so let me see. I think I've covered all the things that I wanted to. So essentially what you have here is profile one and profile two, which yes, you can change buttons for those two profiles, but it seems to be just those two profiles. And as mentioned, when I created a profile using this, the only thing that had changed, if I can get it to come in again, was the default two change to the name of the program but that's it so it seems like you only have profile one and then profile two which might be a particular game and as I mentioned in the last video application stands for apply I thought it meant you click this button and it pulls up a list to find games and that's what this is for I did mention in the last video a couple of suggestions that I thought would be good for the mouse and for the software and uh, as I mentioned, this is just a follow-up from that video, so thank you very much. I may or may not do one more video, uh, like a final video on this month.